Hello friends, this is Ashantan. Hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will be sharing the strategy regarding our approach for the MBA CET exams and what should be your exact exam approach for the D-Day that is tomorrow and day after tomorrow. So before we start the videos, I would request you all to please subscribe to our channel for getting updated about the latest GDPI techniques, tips, MBA entrance exams. Now, let us start. Now is the big question is as to how you do prepare for your D-Day. Let us talk about the exams. You have got 150 minutes for 200 questions. Any score above 150 should be decent enough to get into JBIMS and 130 plus should be decent enough to get into one of the top four colleges. That's mean, that means that even a topper cannot answer or even for that matter see the entire set of questions. So the trick is to realize and solve the easy questions and what I mean by exactly easy will be cleared in subsequent time. So for reading the entire question paper you need to distribute the 200 questions and 150 minutes into 5 mini papers of 40 questions and 30 minutes and what should be your exact approach in solving those questions it will get cleared consider the first set of question 1 to question 40 firstly understanding that it's a mini paper of 30 minutes creates a sense of urgency for us to read the entire 40 questions which is very important so that you are able to access the entire 200 questions in the first 10 minutes scan through the entire 40 questions with good preparation you should be able to attempt at least 14 to 15 questions spending about 25 to 30 seconds on each questions during this time simultaneously green mark the questions that would require 1 to 1.5 minutes for solving in this way you have now marked the questions that have to be solved in the next 15 minutes in this with the remaining scan you should be able to attempt at least 8 to 10 questions in the first 10 minutes you have attempted now this is the another set of 15 minutes the total comes out to be 25 minutes in the remaining 5 minutes you have to guess mark all the remaining questions since there is no negative marking so out of 40 questions you have now solved 22 to 25 sure shot questions guessing the remaining 15 odd questions with luck and with a bit of smartness depending on the preparation level you should be able to attempt at least 3 or 4 out of this 15 so you have solved at least 26 to 29 questions out of the 40 in the first set having spent the 30 minutes you now get another sense of urgency to solve and go in for the next set now understand for the first out of the first 40 questions you have already attempted 26 to 29 now all you need to do is repeat this for the remaining 4 sets. So by logic if you go 26 to 29 multiplied by 5 will resulting in a score of 130 to 145 marks. Now smart guessing will result in further improvement of the marks. This should ensure your entry in one of the top 4